Hey everybody, okay, we're going to try this again. This is take two. Last one was totally discombobulated and rambled, and I didn't like it, so I said, I'm going to do that again. This is going to be a quick review of When He Hollers, Let Him Go by Teresa McLean Watson. Um, the story is, is pretty good. It's a simple read. It isn't anything that requires an abundant amount of thought. To read it, that sounds really, really bad to say, but it's a quick read. Um, it's a relaxing read. That's a better word. That's a better word. It's a relaxing read. Um, main characters of the story, his um, name is Maddie Jolson, and he is a minister, pastor who's a who is assigned churches to pastor at, uh, and. Through that, he's had a couple of uh, not-so-good experiences, and he is given one assignment, and they basically tell him, after some controversy arises, they tell him, you quit or we'll fire you. So he quits, and then sometime later, he's given another assignment, and he's sent to, and that was in, his first assignment in the big city, and his second assignment is in the country. And so, um, as he encounters these country parishioners at his church and how they are, they're old, it's an older congregation that had, that's basically the mouthpiece. There are younger members in the congregation, but of course, the older people hold the reins. And so, they have their ideas of what they feel is acceptable at, from someone who is serving in the position of pastor. And they attempt to get him to number to first conform to what they want him to be or what they want their pastor to be and once they decide or once they realize that he is not going to do that um they you know and uh, make and uh, make take every opportunity to get rid of him essentially um it does have a love story element to it and that part is very is interesting and somewhat entertaining. There are some things that are said uh as far as comparisons of characters in the story that I did not I did not like. Uh but I guess it's it's what it's what people do. We just don't get that thought. We don't get to see their thought process when it comes to some things like that. So yeah, but um there's also an element of what people show you is not who always who they really are and that you only know somebody as much as they allow them to know you. There are always things that are going on behind closed doors that you don't know. Um, and if you choose to ignore them, it could be damaging. And so there's an element of that as well because when he comes, the main character comes into the town, he can tell immediately that there are some things that are amiss in the way some people interact with each other and the way some people are in the church as well as in the community. And so when he um, he can tell immediately, yet there are people who have known their counterparts all their lives and have, so they say, no idea um, of what's going on behind closed doors. So and what and they have no idea or they choose to ignore that the things that they see when they come out into the public eye are actually warning signs. So um that part of the story is really is really inter it's really good. I don't want to say entertaining because that's it's not a funny thing, but it's it's really good. So um if you are looking for something that's a relaxing read, I don't know if I would suggest this as like a beach read because it is um, a little lengthy. It's over 400 pages. So I don't know if I would suggest this as a as a beach read, but definitely if you are looking for something to read that is not going to um, take divert your attention or not going to totally um, derail some things that you already have going on, this may be this would be a good book uh, to read. So. That is the review on that. Peace out. Talk to y'all later.